Hey there, welcome to Simply Real TV. I'm getting ready to go on an ice fishing trip with my dad and a family friend out to Blue Mesa, which is one of the biggest reservoirs in Colorado. From what I remember, I don't think any of us have ice fished there before. So this will be an exciting adventure. My dad and I decided we're gonna take along some fish finders on this trip. So I had an idea of converting my kayak fish finder into an ice fishing fish finder unit. Um, mine's kind of an older model. I bought it a few years ago. It's the Garmin Ecomap Chirp 43CV. Um, it's a chart plotter, GPS, fish finder. I emailed Garmin to see if there was a way to convert this into a ice fishing flasher. They emailed me back and said that if I changed out the transducer, this is the one that came with my model. So there's a better transducer I could use for ice fishing. So he gave me the part number to order and uh, while I was at it I decided to buy the, the Garmin bag and the battery to mount all this inside of. I bought the arm so that I could mount it to my kayak and then run the transducer cable off to the head unit. So these parts I already had and I think what I'm gonna have to do is I modified this guy so I could mount it to my kayak on a star port. So I'll probably have to remove this star port and mount it back onto this base, which will then get attached to the kit I bought. So I have a little work to do to uh, convert this thing over for ice fishing. Um, I just got in my shipment today of the parts to do so. Our trip is tomorrow, so uh, got a fire going here in the garage and we're gonna put this thing together. I'll show you the transformation and then uh, we'll head off and do some fishing, try this thing out. All right, so I got everything out of the box. Uh, there's the kit. It's a portable fish finder kit. This one was for uh, four, five, seven inch striker fish finders with GPS and four to five inch Ecomap and Ecomap chirp combo fish finders. So looking online, I figured this is probably what I needed for mine. So I just purchased this and we'll see how it fits. Um, so the kit has a battery charger, the little stand that I'll mount the, the GPS to. Here's the bag. Um, came with a little suction cup for mounting it on a boat hole and a piece of foam for floating your transducer. Um, probably won't use these items. I also got this uh, transducer kit. This is the transducer. They recommended this one. It has the flasher function, but it looks like I could probably also use the, the lake view and the traditional. So that'll be interesting to see how all that works. So here's the items from the kit that I'm gonna use for my setup. And uh, the battery's gonna fit on here. The fish finder mount. Screw onto the base here. So to start out, I got to get the star port off the bottom of this base. And there's a screw down in here. This will take us out of kayak mode and put us into ice fishing mode. The cool thing is I can um, set this one up for ice fishing and then buy a new one of these from Garmin for mounting on the kayak and then I won't have to transfer this back and forth every season. transducer and there's the one for power and these are keyed 
So I'm gonna take my power cable. It's like flat side goes down. And I'll get that plugged in. Now we need to tie in the transducer so it'll the plug will be in this hole and we'll just run it to the side and wrap it around the edge here but first i think i've got to here's the transducer a little uh a lot different from my kayak one so this will just hang on inside the hole the ice hole um, it's got a little rubber stopper and a foam float. So I think we'll start with the float. Feed that cable through there. And what this will do, this will float on top of the water and the transducer will hang down into the, the hole where the ice is. The rubber stop will help you adjust this distance. So depending on thickness of ice, you'll need to change the depth. So the rubber stopper, I'll install that. Next. Got these nice little caps for keeping your connectors protected, clean. All right, I'm just gonna guess here. I'll set it for about that depth. Slide that cord through there. Then that plugs into the foam. And then your, the foam stays put and your transducer is set for the depth you need. It'll plug back here too. So I'm looking for the flat side and the flat side, transducer side. Slide that guy through there. Make sure they're both in all the way, the right direction. It's important you get these keyed right, otherwise you'll damage it when you hook on your uh, screen. So then this little piece here will lock everything in place. Slides back here. Click, and that holds the cables in and keeps them in position. So you can mount your screen. So cool thing is when it's summertime and I'm ready to put this on the kayak, then I just pop it off of here, run it over to the kayak, which will have the same mount and then I can just pop it back on and we're ready to kayak. Now we need to tell it what transducer we just put on. So we'll go to settings, go to my vessel, transducer type. And then we just installed the GT8 HW. That's the one we're gonna use, so we'll check that one. It says notice selecting a transducer model that does not match the connected transducer may damage the transducer or reduce performance. We want to continue. Yeah, we want to continue. So when I go back to the kayak setup, I may have to go back in here and find my kayak transducer 
and then set it up to find that one. So it will be properly hooked up. So now I think we're ready to take this out on the ice. Yeah, I'm on a green tube jig. Uh, wax worm. Got him. <laughs> you take your picture? Yeah. It looks like a brown. Brown? Yeah. yeah. Must be a lot of brown. Get between him and the hole. Thing was covered over with snow. 